Hi guys, welcome back to Jens Montreal Peer Reviews. So this is episode 4 of season 8. You know, I usually use my DMs brief peer reviews for the beers I've already had. But in this case, I decided to give this beer a proper review. Uh, just because it's such a famous beer and I really like it. And all the while, I've only had it like a few times. So I should be able to give it a nice, thorough and objective kind of review. But if you know me, you probably know that I have a Duval glass. I also have a Duval t-shirt, even though this one's kind of old. So it'll probably come as no surprise. Today's beer is Duval, the famous Belgian uh, strong golden ale. Um, this beer is regarded by many people as sort of the pinnacle of the style and a lot of brewers use this as their sort of reference point. And this company also owns other breweries, for example, the famous uh, Oma Gang in the States. Belgian style brewery owned by uh, the Duval family. So um, this one is 8.5% ABV, so somewhere in the average ABV for Belgian beers, I would probably say. I guess it'll be kind of redundant to go with my expectations of this beer. But still, you know, Duval usually is not too boozy, very effervescent, um, lots of carbonation, lots of foam and head, and it's also very kind of grassy, a bit champagne-like, and uh, there's a nice kind of malt sweetness to it, even though it's very pale in colour. So yeah, let's take a look what the famous Duval is all about. Okay, so let's pour it into the famous glass. Try to do it slowly so not to disturb the yeast too much. Because if you pour this wrong, it will just give you way too much head. This is probably one of the palest uh, beers I've had from Belgium. Well, well, except for maybe Stella Artois and some other lagers like that. But this is a super effervescent beer, I don't know if you can see the huge amount of bubbles rising. Very nice kind of foamy, frothy you could say, um, head. On the nose, definitely smells like champagne. Getting that white grape together with some slight kind of caramel sweetness. Also a touch of citrus, um, definitely some lemon and some slight breadiness in the background too. It's funny how uh, Duval, I believe, means devil, but in the meantime, the label is all white, so it doesn't really look anywhere near being, you know, satanic or something related to um, the devil. All right, cheers, guys. Let's go ahead. That's just a classic, classic beer. Once again, very similar to Champagne. You feel the alcohol just a little bit, probably much less than you would when you're drinking Champagne. It leaves a slight dryness at the back, slight bitterness. Definitely has some nice grassy and herbal uh, hops there. Usually as you drink it, it becomes a little sweeter. Look at that amount of head there. Just a marvelous looking beer. I guess it's the glass plus the abundance of head that um, make it so much different from a pissy kind of macro lager that's super pale. I mean, the color is almost virtually the same, but it just looks, it looks elegant, you know? talking about perception. I suppose for a beginner this would seem like a huge beer, you know, eight and a half percent, but really it isn't that heavy. The carbonation drops a little bit but it's still uh, very effervescent and I like that it's not super dry. I'll be back in a few moments, this is very nice, um, just like I was expecting. Alright guys, it's time for me to Get down to earth, I guess, uh, from drinking this beer. Really, really good one, really enjoyable. As you drink more of it, as it kind of warms up, you get a little bit more citrus, maybe not so much champagne. Uh, get a nice, subtle kind of hot bite, uh, definitely some lemon and grapefruit, a bit more bitterness, a slight dryness to it. And uh, still get that white grape and hops taste, though. What I really liked about this beer, and I've always appreciated that, I guess, is that it's not super heavy on taste or alcohol, uh, but it definitely has some nice body to it. Really nice beer and definitely not one dimensional and definitely um, uh, deserving to be considered a classic as it is. Uh, grape wise, I think, uh, I guess for its style and um, for its uh, following um, and for my personal, I guess, taste, this is a nine because it's a super solid beer. It's sort of the quintessential um, Belgian strong pale ale, Belgian strong golden ale. I'm not going to give it a full grade because uh, there might be some beers that have sort of surpassed this level. 
but I think uh, it's one of these classic beers that are just so damn good. So if you like these kind of beers, um, you should be able to appreciate Duval just like I do. 9 out of 10 for Duval, the famous, famous Belgian beer. Alright guys, that's all I've got to say for this time around. Um, please check out my Facebook page at DM's Beer Reviews. I'll see you next time. Sticks good beer.